I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on percent fractions and related questions. In this video, we will understand how to convert percents into fractions when percents are given as a mixed number. Now, that could be very difficult at times. So, we'll take our four examples here. We'll convert 12.5% into fractions, 62.5% into fractions, 16 2 over 3 percent into fractions and 116 2 over 3 percent into fractions. You will also note that when I have written these numbers, uh, they are kind of related. So these two are related in the sense that uh, 62 and a half is what times 12 and a half, right? You can figure this out, right? So we can see directly there is a relation, right? Similarly, we could write this as 5 times, right? 62 and a half percent is 5 times 12 and a half percent, right? We'll see how, but that is how they are related. And here also, we do have a relation. When we write 6, 116 2 over 3, and this is only 16 2 over 3, you could see this as, we could write the second one as 100 percent plus 16 2 over 3 percent right so so that is kind of the relation right so it is 100 percent plus 6 2 over 3 percent so 16 2 over 3 percent so when we calculate 16 2 over 3 percent we actually also get the result for a fraction equivalent of 116 2 over 3 percent perfect in this case also we will see how when we calculate 12 over half percent we can also write down the result for 62 and a half percent right so let's begin and see the steps involved in converting these complicated percents to simple fractions okay so normally you're scared of fractions but when it comes to percent related questions fractions are friendly okay so let's see how to work with 12 and a half percent so we are given 12 and a half percent now what is a percent percent is something over 100 right so it is what denominator of 100 so you write this as as a fraction with denominator of 100 right that is the meaning of percent right so so percent is a fraction with denominator of 100 so 12.5, I could write this, 12 and a half, I could write this as 12.5, that is for half, over 100. So, I have dropped this percent symbol, and instead of percent, I have written 1 over 100. Perfect? So, divided by 100. So, that is the basic meaning. Now, we should avoid writing decimals mixed with these numbers. So, what we will do here is we will times... 10 both numerator and denominator now these are the steps which you need to follow so when you times by 10 that is to say we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 that is what I mean so when you do that decimal moves to the right and we get 125 in the numerator and we get 1000 in the denominator right now we need to simplify this particular fraction now we need to simplify in lowest terms to get our answer is that clear to you right so let's try to simplify I kind of simplify like this I'm rewriting this and then we'll simplify so to simplify, we will cancel out whatever could be. So we could divide by 25, right? So if I divide by 25, what do I get? Now, uh, or you could do in steps of 5 also, right? So it is kind of one and the same thing. So anyway, so if I divide by 25, there are four quarters, right? So 25 times 4 is 100 and then a 0. And here, 25 4 is 100 and 125 is 5 times, right? So, so we get 5 over 
40. Now this could be further simplified, right? I could actually now divide both by 5. So if I divide both by 5, I get 1 over 8. Perfect. So I could write 12 and a half percent in the lowest terms as equal to 1 over 8. So for 12 and a half percent, we get our answer as 1 over 8. Does make sense to you? So that is how we are going to do it. Right? Now, let us try to do also 62 and a half using the same process. As I earlier said, we could actually derive this result directly also. So if I times this by 5, since this is this is times 5, right? So times 5, you get this. I mean 5. Similarly, times 5 should give you the result. So we expect 5 over 8 as our answer for 62 and a half. Now let us see, do we really get it? So we'll apply the same steps. 62 and a half means, I could write this as 62.5 percent means I have to divide by 100. Now, to get rid of decimal, I write this as 62 and then 5 times 10 that is. And here I will get 100 times 10 as 1000. Perfect. So first step, as I did earlier, we multiplied both by 10 and got our result. And now we are going to simplify. So when you simplify this, again, we'll divide by 25, right? So 25, when you divide into this, 25 times 25 is 625. And here you will get 40. Now this could further be simplified. And you can again divide this by 5. So you get 5 over 8, right? This was expected. So what do we get? We really get 5 over 8 as our answer. Do you see that? So what is good to learn here is basically once you convert them to fractions, then we could also find similar results. So now what I will try like you to do is do the reverse. So uh, reverse will mean for us well, let's do question for you. So question number 1a for you is to write. If I multiply this by 3, it becomes 36, but this is 3 over 2. So I'll write this as 37 and a half percent. You need to convert this to two fractions. Let this be your exercise. On the other hand, let me write a number here, which is 7 over 8. So I like you to write 7 over 8 as a percent. Perfect. So that will give you good practice on what we have just done. Now let's take example number 3 and example number 4. Let's convert 16 to over 3 percent as a fraction. So, so we are working with 16 to over 3 percent. Percent means out of 100, right? So what should we do? We have to write this as a fraction or what? Well, in this case, let me add one more step. We can also write this as an improper fraction, right? So let's, this is a mixed number, right? So we have a mixed number here. Last time we converted that to decimals. This time our approach is slightly different. We'll convert mixed number to improper fraction. Okay, so that is our first step now. Changed it a bit. Instead of doing decimals, we'll do with improper fraction. So that is to say, we'll get 16 times 3 plus 2 in the numerator. Denominator remains as 3 itself, right? That person, okay? So when you do that, 16 times 3 is 48 plus 2 is 50. So what we get here is 50 over 3 person. Do you see that? So that is what we get. Now, this percent has to be converted to fractions and percent means out of 100, right? So percent means out of 100. So now this is percent implies out of 
100 correct so we'll divide by 100 to drop the sign of percent so it becomes 50 over 300 do you see that so we multiply by 100 in the denominator remove this sign of 100 we could have written 50 over 3 times 1 over 100 now let us simplify this so this 0 cancels and 5 goes 6 times so what do we get here we get 1 over 6 as our answer so this 16 2 over 3 as fractions is 1 sixth do you see now you will understand that this approach of making mixed number as a fraction is a better approach right easily we could get our answer this makes sense to you perfect so so i kind of like this kind of an approach right well you could do with decimal numbers also but the problem here is when you divide by three what do you get you get recurring numbers that is a problem so in such cases to avoid recurring numbers we should use fractions so what we got here is exact value which you will not get by converting to decimals right since because note let me write down a note here 2 over 3 if you look into just this part 2 over 3 2 over 3 means what dividing 20 0 point dividing 20 by 3 6 6 6 and so on this is non terminating right but you could write this as 0 0.6 recurring now that is a difficult number to work with so fraction is a better approach you get an idea right so whenever you end up with such numbers use fractions the approach which we have taken up with this example i hope it makes sense right so that is the idea of taking this type of an example here now here is another trick which i am going to share with you right so the trick here is let's look into the number 116 2 over 3 right so we are now looking into 116 2 over 3 percent now that really means we have two things here right one is 100 percent right so we have 100 percent plus we have 16 2 over 3 percent right now 100 percent in fraction is what it is 1 100 percent means 1 16 2 over 3 is 1 over 6 so when i add them with the common denominator of 6 i get 6 plus 1 equals to 7 over 6 so i could write this as 7 over 6 does it make sense to you now what i'm trying to emphasize here in fractions if you know all equivalent for same denominators you can actually get your number very fast does make sense to you right so so that is how we could actually work with these examples perfect now as an exercise let me write down here second question for you i would like you to work backwards from 5 over 6 into percent into percent and as expected your answer should be what see 1 over 6 is 16 2 over 3 we expect your answer should be i'm giving you the answer but you need to do the steps so 5 over 6 going backwards 1 over 6 is 16 2 over 3 should be 5 times 16 2 over 3 as a person do you understand so that is kind of a trick for you to work with my future videos another video part three may cover topics like this so i like you to explore some of my videos in this series so we are already calling it level two since we do have complications here working with mixed numbers as person but i hope you understand and appreciate how to convert percents to fraction quickly so once you get conversant with this we'll take up word problems relating to percent change with such percentages i hope it makes sense feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great right so i will also like to share with you a particular page which i have created specifically for conversion of percents to fractions so this page has a summary 1 is 100%, half is 50%, 1 over 3 is 33, 1 over 
and we just now saw 12 and a half percent is 1 over 8 right and what is 1 over 6 well 1 over 6 is 16 2 over 3 percent so this table will help you to pick up examples and check for yourself how to work with percent and functions i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great and if you have any queries you can always send it to my email which is right there I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and all the best.